Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is now recently updated, so here is updated solution for this lab. So first of all, just me log in with your app sheet credentials and once you're done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see ATM maintenance app. So just me open this link in incognito window over here. It will take a couple of seconds, so just me wait for that. Okay. Now here you can see copy app option just me click over here like this way just me click okay now for the app name come back over here from here just me copy this name just me replace with this and then click on this copy app now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we'll do we will just me scroll down and from here you can see drive link so just me open this link in incognito window now just me wait and it's finally done now just me click on this app sheet over here then click on this data atm and if you are not able to find any file over here just me click on this refresh button over here and then you can see tickets file okay so just me double click over here like this way now click on this files okay now here we have to upload one file so how can you do that from here you can see download this required file so just me open this file in new tab over here and then just me click on this raw data or you can just me click on this download button over here like this way and this file will download to your local system now just me come back over here then click on this files and then click on this import then click on this upload button over here like this way and then click on this browse and just simply upload the file which is just downloaded this one now make sure that as a import location you have to choose a replace with spreadsheet make sure that you have to choose this option okay then click on this import And it's done okay now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number one and task number two you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry okay now task number three is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention first watch the step and then perform your lab okay so open this link in incognito window over here like this way if you want you can just me close this remaining task over here you can just me close this okay now what you do first of all we have to just me change the project name so just me copy this name come back over here click on this untitled project and then just me replace over here like this way okay then click on this re rename okay now just me copy this code copy this come back over here replace with this you can see this small red dot okay so then click on this save project so it's done okay now just me scroll down and from here just me open this link over here like this way Just me click on the checkbox, agree and continue. Okay, if you are not able to choose your project ID from here, you can just me choose. So it's done. From here, just me choose internal and then click on this create button. Okay, now for the app name, scroll down. From here, just me copy this name and replace over here like this way. From here, just me choose this student ID over here. Now just me scroll down and from here you can see developer contact info for that again just me copy your username so just me copy this paste over here then click on the save wait for a second and it's done scroll down then click on the save and continue it's done then click on this back to dashboard so we are done with this part over here if you just me come back over here from here you can see we are done with this part okay now google chat api configuration this is a very important part of the lab so i request you please pay attention over here so first open this link in incognito window okay now just me scroll down okay so as you can see for the app name just me scroll down copy this app name and paste over here like this way okay now for the avatar just me copy this url and paste over here okay now for the description copy this and paste okay now just me scroll down is here you can see functionality click on this checkbox scroll down then click on this checkbox make sure that you have to click on this both the checkboxes over here now you can see app script so just me choose this option okay now it's asking for the development id for that just me come back over here now just me click on this gear icon make sure that first of all you have to click on this save project over here okay now just me click over here scroll down and here you can see change project just me click over here now open this link in new tab like this way and from here you will get your project number you can see just me copy this project number over here just me come back over here and replace over here like this way and then click on this save so it's done now then click on this deploy from here just me to stage deployment 
and from here just me copy this head deployment id copy this just me come back over here and paste over here like this way make sure that you are done with all this configuration now one last configuration remaining okay so you can see visibility here you can see enter your email address again just me copy your username and paste over here like this way once done with all this configuration just me click on the save button over here once you do that just me wait and watch so it's saved if you just me scroll up you can see there is no live pop-up so if i just may refresh the page over here okay make sure that you have to click on this refresh button and here you can see app status and it's live once you see the app status as a live again scroll down and again click on the save button over here on this page we have to click on the save button for the two times just make sure that you are getting this app status over here and it must be live okay once you're done with all this configuration so you are done with the 90 percent of the lab now just me open this link in incognito window like this way now here just me copy this helper bot copy this name Come back over here you can just me click on the start chat or you can just me click on this new chat also just me paste the name over here then click over here and you will get thank you message you can just me type hello anything okay once you do that you will get a response also like you said hello once you get this kind of output now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the last task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do it in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys